Hello, my wonderful family here. How are you ladies? It's so nice to see you. And today, I know those of you that have saw, you saw, some of you saw what I wanted to talk about earlier. And I know you're thinking, oh boy. <laughs> you're like, huh? And I know you're thinking, what the heck is going on? Well, that's where I want to share with you. We're going to talk about the disorganization of organization and what exactly I mean by that. I'm sorry, ladies, I can't get comfortable today. I'm stuck in here. Okay. And I am Deb. You are in the office with Deb, and I am your home consultant, your decluttering expert, your household hacks tip person. And I can help you with all that. Now, okay, disorganization. The disorganization of organization. And what I found, I noticed with my clients, and even with the teenagers, there's two rooms in the house that really get to clutter, too. Now, and that for some reason it's the kitchen and the kitchen cabinets and it's the bedroom the master bedroom mostly the and i'll say well i was gonna say bedroom because the teens do have the closets and the drawers and the under the bed are the ones that really need to be clean out gone through and it's 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 a com it's a combination with a master bedroom and the kids bedroom it's it's a it's like a toss up and i've also heard that there's a lot of um issues going on with other people touching each other's stuff and not, and putting it where where it really doesn't belong and where some then where you can't find it I've done a lot about that. Um, so you are not alone if you have any of these issues going on. I'll tell you that right now. The master closet, I don't know about you, but that's where I shove everything into. I shove it in there because there's not enough room in the house and I've constantly got to rearrange stuff move it over whatever now the interesting theory behind all this is there's three main things that are that are come up when disorganization there's only three things that cause disorganization three things now I've got to get curious about that now think about it your master closet, you go through your clothes, and you want to wear something nice for the night, you're going out to the restaurant, you put on a pair of pants, you look at them and go, oh, I feel fat in these pants, I'm not wearing these. And then you kind of hang them up on the hanger, back on the hanger, and you kind of put them back, but you're not really putting them back perfect because you want just want to get dressed. And teens do that, girls do that, that's typical. That's There's no around, way around that. Now, there's also the situation in the pantry where you're cooking, where you're looking for certain food products or, or we're saying, oh man, I thought I had that and I didn't know I didn't have that. Where did it go? How, what? And you're, you're shoving the, the cans around and you're moving it, trying to, you got your food in the, on the stove and you're trying to move, shove the cans around and move and looking for that. And you're like, oh. Hey, Tina, nice to see you. Hello, my friend. And, or when you come back from the grocery store and your husband's nice enough to help you with the groceries, he, he's taking them out and putting them away for you. And you don't want to say nothing because you're like, I don't put that there. I don't put it there. Hi, Tracy. And they're, he's trying to help you. You don't want to say nothing. And then you got the kids coming in and getting their snacks out of the out of the cabinet, what they want. So things get messed up. Now, 
in my house. I have a drawer where I like to keep in the kitchen. I like to keep my hammer, my screwdriver, and a tape measure. I don't want to be fussing through my husband's toolbox looking for that. And he's okay, you know, he knows that. I have my own set, he has his own set, so nobody, we can't step on each other's toes, that's fine. But when he borrows my stuff from the kitchen drawer because he don't want to go in his, his tool bag, when he puts it back, he just shoves it in anywhere. Or he's looking around and he's moving everything and I'm thinking they're going, ugh. Because I have it semi-organized to where I know where, what I need is toward the front. And I put the other stuff I don't need toward the back. And I'm like, I don't want to say nothing. And I know I'm not the only one that goes through this. I've heard several people mention this. That's quite common. It goes on a lot of households. And even the kids, they're going in their utensil drawer. They're looking for a spoon. They grab the wrong spoon. They grab the big spoon instead of the baby. I call it the baby spoon because I always had to call that a baby spoon when my son was little, the little one, the teaspoon. And they like, I don't want this one. They just put it back and they really don't put it back right. They don't care if they put it upside down. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I am talking about today, the disorganization of organization. Now, remember I said there's three things that only cause disorganization. I'll tell you what they are at the end. So, now that I've described you several situations, and I'm sure you saw, your, saw yourself in one of these situations or somebody you know, so you put it down in the comments. I'm curious what, what your situation is. If it's the kids, if it's the husband, if it's you being in a hurry, or if it's hubby, hubby trying to help with, with the groceries. Hey, Laura, nice to see you. So that is where the disorganization organization comes in. And a lot of times when that happens, depending on the day we are having, arrange this, put this back together, or the clothes, this is in the wrong drawer, that goes in this drawer. Because I don't like my kids, he's got pants in the bottom drawer where we've got shirts on the top drawer. Sometimes the pants are with the tops and I'm, I'm trying to keep some organization to it when I'm washing, washing clothes and stuff. And, and sometimes I put them away. It just depends on my mood. Um, and especially if he's working, I'm like, I just want to get it done. Let's just get it put away. I got company coming over. I'm just going to do it. So now. I also said, keep in mind, I also said about the bedroom and the kitchen. Those seem to be the two neck and neck rooms for disorganization. Now, thinking in your head, what really causes the disorganization? Like I said, there's only three things that cause it. Number one, as much as you hate to admit it, it's you. You, me, all of us. We do it at one time or another, too. We're busy. We're in a hurry. We just want to get it done. We'll get back to it later. And we, sometimes later, we just don't feel like it. We're too tired. That's okay. We all go through that. Number two is others. Causes a really big, others cause big, big disorganization, especially when they don't put it back where it belongs. And you're the one maybe picking up after the kids in the living room, picking up the, the Barbie dolls, the Legos, the toy trucks, toy cars, trying, put, trying to put them away because you, you know, you, you never know who's going to walk in the door. you got your neighbors. You know, I've had, you know, neighbors walk in when I was, when my son was little and I had cars all over the place and I'm like, oh. and I'm like trying to make some room i'm shoving the cars on the one side because he loves to play the cars he'd love to line them up and or put them in a big circle and all the different colors and i'm trying to just make some room so she can walk around so that you know doesn't know when it gets hurt so you know how it goes so we've got you and others now 
Here's the big part, the big part about disorganization. The third part of disorganization is what I call items, products, whatever you want to call it. Like for me, if you saw in um, Friday's, Friday's video in the group, the unveiling of the Sensi box, that 38 pound box, remember that? That's what I mean by items, products. The whole box came in. I had to make room for the box. I have to go through the box. I have to physically figure out where am I going to put the books? Where am I going to put the products? Where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put that? And that's what causes disorganization. Even when you're trying to rearrange your room, you've got disorganization. You've got things everywhere because you're trying to make it flow better. Things always get worse before they get better when you're organizing. That's a given. I know. I had Sensi products and everything out of the box all over the floor. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put where. <laughs> My husband walks in and he's like, whoa, look at all that stuff. I'm like, uh, yeah. He goes, I hope you know where you're going to put it. I said, I will deal with it. It's okay. I will deal with it. <laughs> so that is what I mean about the disorganization of organization. Now, the team group is finishing up. I'm going to do some home consults for, for the end of this week and the end of next week. And then we're going to start. I'm going to have a special decluttering group for you guys, not the teens, because so many of you are, are like, you're like, I'm just not in the mood. I don't want to do it. I need the motivation. I need the courage. I need new ideas. I need to see what you're doing, and I will, then I know I can get it done. Now, th this month, too, I know we've got kids. Go, I'll go and kid, whoever has the kids, you got kids going back to school. Some went back to school already. Some start in 15. Some start the end of August. Some start September. It's all over the place. You're, you've, got, you've been running around with school supplies, uniforms, all that. I get it. You're like, I don't have time to organize in summer with all the kids home, feeding them all day, trying to work my job from home. I get it. So when that group starts, hopefully most of the kids will be in school so that you can concentrate on what you want to declutter, what you want to organize. And we're going to do it as a group. We're going to, we're going to have trainings. And I will be putting more about, about the group, the decluttering group, in the group, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you know who, what, where, why, and when, and all that. So, so that's a heads up. So now, keep it at that. Now, those of you that want a personal consult, that, that I know some of you have a lot of um, things going on. You're like, no, I just want you privately. Let's just take that hour. Let's just do it because I can't stand it anymore. I just, I'm overwhelmed with this closet. I can't stand it. That's fine too. So if you're, that's what you're one of them, get in touch with me right away because this week and next week I want to finish up the home consults because I do want to start. That group, I don't know whether it's going to be the last week in August or right after Labor Day. I'm looking at my calendar here. i got to figure things out and see what I'm going on, what i got going on. But I think it's going to be after Labor Day because that weekend, that last August weekend, ladies, you and I both know, that is typically kind of the end of the summer. The kids are either going to be all back in school by that Labor Day and the vacations are pretty much done. They're gone. They're over with. And you're like, 
Whew, I get the house somewhat to myself to get my stuff done come September. <clears throat> and I know I've got, um, I know we're not going out of town that weekend, but I've got events going on that are very important that weekend that I have to be, I have to be there. So uh, let's just say, let's go ahead with the day after Labor Day. That's what that will start. And like I said, I will get back to you. I'm hoping to have some details in the group by the end of this week, before the end of this week, like Thursday, Friday. So be on the lookout for that. So ladies, thank you so much. I know I took up a little bit more of your time than I normally do. But hashtag, uh, post in the group, let me know what's your situation at home with the disorganization. You others, items, all of it, whatever it is, then think about what you want to do for September. What do you want to start with first? What do you want to work on? Bedroom, closet, kitchen, because I know you want to get it done. I want to get it done. I'm still, I'm still working on Moving some of my Sensi Consultant stuff. I'm trying to get that going. Get that and get... I'm almost done with that, but there's a lot of organization I have to do with that. Unfortunately, a lot. Because there's a lot of little items and samples and stuff and, the, and those fragrances. Woo! That got to be all organized. So I'm still working on all that myself. In between, a little at a time. Ladies, if you can't do something in one day, do not push yourself. Please do not get overwhelmed. I don't want to see that. I'd rather see you take your time. Rome wasn't built in a day. So don't even fret about it, whatever you do. That's my advice to you. It's not worth it. Live your life. Do what you can in between to organize. That's it. All right, ladies, thank you so much. I will see you in the group.